Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together. Walk through it step by step. And I encourage you to pause it at times, read it, and try it on your own. Okay, so let's read it together. It says that Burt's Cab Company charges a dollar plus an additional three dollars per mile. So I'm going to pause. This is what I'm thinking already. I'm thinking we've got a starting point of a dollar and we're adding three dollars per every x. And that equals, let's say, y, our cost. Now let's go forward and see what happens. Um, Madeline's Cab Company, so this is for Bert, right? This is Bert's Cab Company. What is Madeline's Cab Company doing? There's some competition over here. Let's see what's, what is going on with Madeline's Cab Company. Uh, they're charging $3, okay, plus $2 per X or mile, and that's their cost. Write a system of linear equation that shows the cost for a cab ride of X miles for each cab driver. So these, this is my system, right? Um, I wrote, wrote it as I saw it, as I read it. And I think in a lot of these questions, um, for a linear situation, when you have a starting point, it's going to be a constant number, 1 or 3. Then you're given a rate, some kind of unit rate, some kind of constant rate. That's our coefficient of X, right? And then you have X, and that's going to equal Y. And essentially, I'm just writing two equations in the structure of what's called y equals mx plus b format, where m is your slope or your rate, and b is your starting point. Except here, I'm kind of writing it like b plus mx, which is equivalent. Starting point plus slope times x, and that equals y. At what distance will the cost be the same for both companies? So we're going to solve this system of equations. So 1 plus 3x equals y, and then 3 3 plus 2x equals y. I'm going to subtract the two equations from each other because what this does is it eliminates the y variables. And we can subtract, we can subtract equations just like we can numbers. Now when I subtract, I'm going to subtract 1 and 3, that's negative 2. 3x and 2x, that's x. y minus y is 0. To solve for x, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. And this tells me that the two equations are equal when x is 2. And let's just verify that by plugging in 2 for x um, to both equations. And that'll tell us the cost. Uh, for Bert's, good old Bert, uh, 1 plus 3 times x, which is 2, that equals 7. And for Madeline's, right, we've got 3 plus 2 times 2, and that's 3 plus 4, which is also 7. So at, at 2 miles, they both cost $7, right? So error is just 2 right there. Which cab driver's charge will be less for a ride that is 10 miles in distance? So plug 10 into both now. So for Bert, we've got 1 plus 3 times 10, and that's 31. For Madeline, we've got 3 plus 2 times 10, which is 23. Uh, so the answer is Bert, right? Bert's will be less. And let's keep going. Oh, use words and numbers to explain how you determine your answer. So I would just show these two calculations, saying I plugged in, I'm not going to write it here, but I plugged in x for miles, I know x is miles, and I plugged in 10 for x, which is miles, into both of my equations. And this gave me the total cost for Bert, which is $31, the total cost for Madeline, which is $23, and um, clearly Bert is charging more, and oh my gosh, that means that this... Um, is not right. I should have put Madeline there. Oh boy. Madeline's is way cheaper, right? Madeline's only charging $23. So here, Madeline's costs less. I put Bert thinking um, that why um, somehow my mind, and this is this happens to everyone, right? We make mistakes. Here, I guess I was thinking that a greater value of 31 is better. But clearly that's cost, and we want a lower value, which means you want something that's cheaper. So Madeline is definitely the better deal. All right, hope this helped.